a lot of the plays that we didn't see coming. We'll take a look at them now. Sticking with our hunt, Monty's favorite player. Here's a Genji 3K. This is a sick Dragon play. Was <laughs> was this. Amazing. You can see the deflect there. So I love that we're seeing more Genji yeah. play as well. Despite the fact that Brigitte is coming in, you know, people were a bit scared, but no, our hand's still showing that it's capable. You know, you're, you're more than capable of turning well, up when needed. When there's Genji no Brigitte, it's easy, yeah. right? <laughs> It's a lot easier, and I love this play. We're seeing a lot more Doomfist these days, which is exciting because he's one of the most fun heroes to watch. Oh, Jake sick. was hiding behind the point, and then it just punishes OG, punches him straight off the map. Beautiful Doomfist setup. Beautiful stuff, indeed. Now, for me personally, I, I want to go over into the old Moo territory. Tai Moo has been turning up for Dallas in recent memories. You know, he's been hitting these headshots, the drop down snipe. Follows it up as well with a crucial, critical snipe onto the rip tire as well. Setting his team up for success. I like it, you know, Taimu's getting his mojo back, his groove. He hits every rip yeah. tire, it seems, too. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, we can take a look at the next play. It'll be heart based grab, sets up EQO's rocket barrage for the 4K. There's the grab, there's the barrage. A pretty easy one to lay down, but you see it a very effective side of the DPS players for the Philadelphia Fusion lining up a good combo here. But that's why King's Row is one of the most fun maps to watch, because we do get a lot of these big ultimate combos. But we had a little bit of an interesting play here from Zunba, who, this is just such a picture-perfect self-destruct. I love this. I mean, he manages to get it just in line of sight of the wall, making sure that it's not going to be safe there for Aim God or Gamsu, and that's going to help Sol out a lot. Yeah. Well, we're on the topic of tanks, and Fearless is coming up. We all know how big of a fan I am of the Shanghai Dragons. This is one team. of the reasons why. Like, Fearless making these big plays, these big earth shatters. This was sick, though. Set them up, and I just remember the crowd chanting, the Dragoons. This is when they, we thought they were going to be doing it. Not quite against the Boston Uprising, a bit too uh, a bit too good on that regard. But Fearless, sick plays from him. It's a really nice earth shatter there from Fearless, but I want to go with free field, the sick body block to save Auto. See the shatter come down here from awesome guy, and there is Freefield taking the hit. Gregory finishes it off as uh, Freefield with a good transcendence. He's had to put that and didn't see it coming. Well, we have to take the good Freefield plays on the rarity that we get them, right? And take a look at soon now. Sniping Bird Ring from behind, as we see using that Infrasight to go ahead and come up with a flank and then agilities. Just go ahead and spawn camp this with a rip tire <laughs> <laughs> for us. Uh, there's absolutely nothing he can do about that. Uh, I, I'm more than capable of hitting these shots, though. I don't know what's on. Uh, no, no, no. I've seen my Widowmaker, Matt. You've seen my Widowmaker. You yeah, know, the shameless plug for the Brent. Of course, of course. But Custa. He, this guy, he, the, the, the cojones on him to make a play like this, pulling out the pistol on the Mercy with a Valk on top, setting himself up with a double kill for his team, you know, just to win this point out. Incredible uh, game sense required to really just go for a, a, a highly aggressive play like that. Doing his best Neptuno impression, if you like. Yeah, and uh, the next one we got is my match. You it'll be a self-destruct. Goes right into the shatter. You see Super there laying the bigger shatter. Self-destruct. All the bodies on the floor, nothing you can do about that. It's gonna be a 3K. <laughs> More combos. Kings Row always delivers. And Choi's your boy for this one with that self-destruct. We're gonna take a look at Sure 4 getting the big high noon, the dead eye on the mercy, and then cleaning up the points en route to a gladiator's win over the NYXL. It's gonna go ahead and and all these nice little headshots. Good flashbang in at the end there, and then a long range kill to cap it off. It's a huge week for the Gladiators. Uh, Surefort played great for them all week. And uh, something else that we didn't see coming this week were the two reverse sweeps by the Los Angeles Gladiators. Uh, 